शांति अव्यक्त बाप दादा मुरली एटीन फेब्रवरी ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर ओरिजिनल डेट थर्टी फर्स्ट डिसम्बर नाइनटीन नाइन्टी एट ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ योर करेज बिकम फ्री फ्रॉम हैविंग टू लेबर एंड कॉन्स्टेंटली एक्सपीरियंस योर सेल्फ टू बी विक्टोरियस टूडे बाप दादा द क्रिएटर ऑफ द न्यू एज हैज कम टू गिव ग्रीटिंग्स टू हिज एक्सट्रीमली लविंग कॉन्स्टेंटली कॉपरेटिव एंड वेरी क्लोज चिल्ड्रेन फॉर द न्यू एज योर न्यू लाइफ एंड द न्यू ईयर द चिल्ड्रेन एवरीवेयर who are keeping bab dada personally in their hearts with a lot of love are receiving greetings from him bab dada is pleased to see the children's zeal and enthusiasm for the new year the majority of you children whether you are sitting far away or close have the zeal and enthusiasm in your minds definitely to bring about some newness this year whether in terms of transformation of the self in terms of success in service or in terms of transforming others with your good wishes and pure feelings the zeal and enthusiasm all of you have is very good together with this you also have courage according to your capacity bab dada definitely gives multi million fold help in return for one thought of such courageous children therefore constantly continue to move forward with courage don't allow your courage to diminish whether for yourself or for others because this new age is for flying with your courage this year has been blessed and this age is the most auspicious confluence age it is the age when you are given all powers as your inheritance by the bestower directly therefore constantly keep the importance of this age in your awareness before you begin any task whether in terms of your own efforts or in terms of world service you constantly have the faith that with your courage and bab dada's help your success is guaranteed in both your own efforts and in service there has to be success the possible has to become possible because this age is the age of success it is a age for the impossible to become possible therefore for you brahmin souls there is no question in this age as to whether something will happen or not or how it will happen it is written in the horoscope of you brahmins that success is your birth right you souls who have all rights do not need to think about these things you are definitely going to receive your inheritance therefore in the new year especially let the awareness emerge that success is a right of you elevated brahmin souls in all aspects 
continue to fly with this faith and with spiritual intoxication not intoxication filled with arrogance but spiritual intoxication those whose intellects have faith are constantly victorious in every task they perform the line of fortune of victory is constantly seen on the four heads of brahmin souls whose intellects have faith tilaks of victory are constantly seen sparkling on their forehead this is why you must continue to experience this year as a year of constant victory do you have such faith and intoxication do you double foreigners have this double foreigners are clever they all waved their hands very good your tilaks are visible the people of bharat too are also fortunate why because the land of bharat is very fortunate therefore whether your foreigners or those of bharat all are the children of the beast over and so every brahmin child is victorious simply allow your courage to emerge you do have courage in you because you are master all mighty authorities are you this all were waving their hands you are all waving your hands very well now constantly continue your wave your hands of courage even in your minds bab dada is pleased and proud that every child of his is victorious many times you souls are not just victorious ones but you are victorious souls many times never think i don't know what will happen don't use the words what will happen you are victorious and will always be victorious is this firm for all of you very good now when you return home don't write any weak news or say dadi baba maya has come don't write such letters if you are not this then who else would be let this spiritual intoxication emerge when your mind and intellect become busy in other matters your intoxication becomes merged however you should check every now and then to see whether you have this spiritual intoxication of victory while you are doing things if you have faith you definitely have this intoxication the sign of faith is intoxication and if you have intoxication you definitely do then have faith the two are interconnected therefore now in this year 1999 constantly let your intoxication emerge and you will become free from making mistakes neither will you make mistakes nor will you have to labor bab dada has already told you that he doesn't like to see you children laboring or battling so how are you going to celebrate this new year 
you have celebrated the year of liberation you have put an end to all negativity and waste therefore this year will automatically become a year that is free from laboring all of you souls are those who experience pleasure you are not those who have to labor do you enjoy having pleasure in your lives or do you like having to labor you enjoy having a life of pleasure do you not so this year become free from having to labor even in the thoughts of your mind bab dada has received many letters and notes from children conveying the news of how they have very good courage they have been saying that from now they will definitely come into the rosary of 108 plenty of letters of very good zeal and enthusiasm have also come even in their heart to heart conversations many have given bab dada very good news of their faith and courage bab dada replies to such children baba has put a full stop to all the past of all of you children bab dada replies to such children baba has put a full stop to all the past of all of you children you must now therefore stop thinking of your past you have remained courageous up to now and so continue to move forward with your courage and baba's help whether it is the children from abroad or those of this land you have written off how your enthusiasm for the new year is very good bab dada gives such children the blessing with this courage faith and intoxication may you remain immortal you will remain immortal will you not will you double foreigners remain immortal will you people from bharat remain immortal bharat should definitely claim a number how do people celebrate the new year firstly they give gifts and secondly they give greetings all of you eat and share sweets and also sing and dance a great deal you brahmin children would not just celebrate the new year for one day after midnight because for you brahmin children every moment of this new age is a new moment every breath is new and every thought is new therefore constantly continue to distribute the dilkush toli to one another throughout the whole year not just for one day one week one month four months or eight months but for the whole 12 months you will distribute it will you not do you know how to distribute the dilkush toli do you know how to distribute the dilkush toli all of you are very clever and so continue to distribute the dilkhush toli 
when some because of their natures sanskars or problem do not accept your dil khush toli you mustn't become disheartened you distributed it and your chart of obedience was recorded with bab dada don't be concerned about someone who became upset even though you gave that one dil khush toli it doesn't matter that one doesn't understand this secret and he therefore became upset however you all, you know all the secrets therefore also understand the secret of how that person is under the influence of his karmic accounts or some other problem you should just continue to be obedient is this okay you wish to become obedient do you not you are saying yes very well here if you could see yourselves from here you would see yourselves waving your hands very well by waving your hands you make baba very happy and you are all also nodding in agreement and waving your hands however bab dada is constantly pleased with all his children once he has said to you my child then whoever you are and whatever you are the father is definitely pleased to see you the father has promised that no matter how he is definitely going to make you worthy and take you back with him do you wish to return with him are you ready to return with him are all of you ready are you ever ready acha you are ever ready very good are you are ever happy so if maya comes then what will you cry a little in your mind and then say baba maya came she came don't cry but make yourself fly and maya will remain beneath you when you fly up above maya will continue to watch you from down below acha you must continue to dance in happiness and continue to distribute dil khush toli you should give whoever comes into contact with you one or another gift no one should return from you empty handed what gift will you give them you have many gifts do you have a stock of gifts don't be miserly about giving these gifts continue to give them be generous hearted cooperate by giving someone power give someone the vibrations of power give someone a gift of some virtue not through your lips but give it through your face and behavior perhaps no virtue or power has emerged in you but there is at least a small gift you can give them what is that gift that of good wishes and pure feelings have the good wishes that one is your long lost and now found brother or sister when you consider someone to be long lost and now found your bad wishes will then become good wishes have the pure wish that 
that brother or sister will also have a part in the flying stage for this together with your good wishes you also have to give them cooperation some children say that they do give good wishes but that the one that the other person won't take them okay they may not take your good wishes but they are giving you something are they not they may be giving you their impure words or impure vibrations or perhaps behaving negatively towards you but you must remember who you are what is your occupation are you world transformers what is your business it is that of a world transformer is it not since you are able to transform the world then if someone has said something wrong to you or behaved wrongly with you can you not transform that one are you not able to bring about some positive transformation are you going to take something negative as negative or will you transform that negative into positive and give ev- and give everyone the gift of good wishes and pure feelings constantly keep a stock of all the good wishes that you have accumulated simply give some of these to others and bring about transformation in them and then your title of a world transformer will continue to be used in a practical way also understand very firmly that those who transform others by putting their task of world transformation into practice in the corporeal form are guaranteed a right to a kingdom for 21 births perhaps you will just sit on the throne for one birth but in every one birth you will have close relationships with souls of the royal family and those who have a right to the kingdom so only world transformers are able to claim a right to the kingdom of the world therefore constantly remember this occupation of yours it is your duty to bring about transformation you are the children of the beast over and so you must continue to be so as beast overs only then will you not have to give anyone anything physically with your hands in fu- the future for every one in your kingdom will be constantly overflowing this is your reward of being a beast over at this time therefore don't stop to count so many times what that one did or what someone else did become a master beast over and continue to give gifts what greetings are you going to give whenever someone attains something from another the words coming from his lips and mind are like greetings for you when you distribute happiness to another you share those greetings when you celebrate a festival you give congratulations never someone comes in front of you you should speak 
such words and your mind should have such elevated thoughts that he would definitely give you greetings and blessings from his heart so constantly speak such words and con constantly interact with others in such a way that they all give you greetings and blessings from their hearts again and again don't speak words that are not worthy of congratulations thanks each word you speak should be like a jewel they should not be ordinary words the result that bab dada has seen up to now has been like that tomorrow it will change but up to now the love and discipline that should be in your words have been lacking therefore speak words that are like jewels since your selves are as valuable as diamonds every word you speak should be like a jewel they should be very precious they should not be ordinary neither ordinary nor wasteful sometimes bab dada sees should he tell you the results because after midnight everything has to finish bab dada also saw that some children expand trivial matters a great deal what happens is that when someone speaks a great deal it is just like when a tree grows the seed disappears when they talk too much in this way they think that they are expanding on something in order to clarify it so that others can understand however the essence of whatever they are trying to make clear for others become hidden in that expansion there is energy of words and speech when your words are wasteful your energy of speech is reduced even the energy of the brains of those who speak too much is reduced remember the two words short and sweet when others relate such things you tell them that you don't have enough time to listen to all of that but when you yourself are relating something you forget about time therefore accumulate a stock of your treasures accumulate your treasures of thoughts accumulate your treasures of words accumulate your treasures of all powers accumulate your treasure of time Accul accumulate your treasure of virtues every night check your savings account of these treasures how many thoughts did you accumulate in your account of best instead of wasting them how much time did you accumulate in your account of best did you perform elevated task through your virtues and powers did you use your virtues did you use your powers this is what it means to accumulate so every night check your account of your thoughts time virtues and powers and then total up how much you saved in your account these savings will help you and also help others do you understand what you have to do all of you ask what you should do so 
this is what you now have to do you have received greetings and also been given a gift you have to accumulate and also let go of laboring when you pay attention to your savings you will not have to labor celebrate this year with a lot of splendor as the year of being free from laboring you celebrated the year of being free from anything wasteful and negative bab dada is not asking you for the result of the year of liberation now because bab dada remembers baba will ask for the result as to how many of you celebrated the whole year as a year of liberation and how many of you celebrated it for only a month did you celebrate it for 6 months did you celebrate for half the year did you celebrate it fully baba will check the result on the 18th to the extremely loving brahmin souls everywhere please accept greetings and congratulations from the creator of the new age congratulations this is the moment to share greetings and bid farewell it is a confluence together with the old year you are also bidding farewell to the old world you are by bidding farewell to the old things old problems and old sanskars and receiving congratulations and greetings filled with new enthusiasm for the new year constantly celebrate this year as a year of freedom from laboring celebrate this year for the self and others as a year that is free from obstacles constantly celebrate this year as the year in which you gain victory as your birth right constantly celebrate this year as a year in which you have this faith and intoxication in every action that you perform this year each of you has to claim from bab dada and the dadi is a gift for becoming number 1 therefore all the foreigners and all the people of bharat have to maintain the faith that they are becoming number 1 they have to progress and inspire others to progress so together with lots of love and remembrance with his thoughts and words bab dada is also giving multi million fold greetings and congratulations now in one second with determination and a powerful thought all of you have to bid farewell for all time to all the old objections old matters and the old year in one second have this determined thought all of you now stabilize in the thought that with determination there is success blessing may you be master merciful and give courage to souls who are distressed because of their tension and enable them to move forward at present many souls are distressed because of their internal tension and so those poor helpless ones do not have the courage 
to move forward you have to give them courage when someone doesn't have a leg he is given an artificial wooden leg so that he can walk in the same way give them the leg of courage because bab dada sees what the internal condition is of the children who do not have the knowledge externally their condition may be tip top and very good but internally they are very unhappy therefore become master merciful slogan be humble not delicate humility is greatness om shanti thank you baba thank you